Writing in standard form. The first part of doing the quadratic formula is you got to know what the ABCs are. And by that, we need to write these, find the A, the B, and the C. So here I have two problems over here. First off, this one is written general form already because it needs to be in general form where you have what we call an AX squared plus BX plus C. And if you look at our first problem here, the 3X squared plus 4X minus 5, it is. And basically all it means is the value in front of the X squared is our A. The value in front of the X is our B. And, the, and our constant term is C, like the fact that it starts with a C, a quadratic. And A is just the number in front of X squared, which is 3. B is 4, and C is a negative 5. You have to make sure to pay, pay attention. It is a negative 5. A minus in front would simply mean it's a negative. But I can't go over here to the second problem here and just arbitrarily say, oh, it's negative 5 for A because, no, C, negative 5 X squared and x squared. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this 5x squared over. I'm going to add 5x squared to each side, which then makes it a 6x squared. And I'm going to go ahead and add 4 to each side, because you have to have it as a y equals to 0, or 0 equals this in order for this to work. And as we can see here, now I have it in what I call general form, or the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where the a is 6, the b is 7, and the c is Four. Before you can do anything else with a um, quadratic formula, you have to be able to find your A, B, and C, and it has to be in what I call general form. I think this one's called standard form.